Oh, hey, Tim. Yeah. Grab uh, some of those uh, quail eggs. My friend Clayton, who uh, does my tattoos, uh, breeds and raises quails and often gives me a lot of eggs. All of us love them, me and the ducks. And I'm told with quail eggs, you can actually eat quail eggs raw as a person. And you don't have to worry about salmonella because their body temperature is supposedly uh, too high to harbor. And these are some of the quail eggs. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to tag you in the head there, little buddy. The shell and egg all is a very good source of food for them. You do want them to eat the shell. The shell is a good source of uh, calcium. If you feed them eggs without the shell and you feed them a lot of them, it can cause nutritional imbalances. And you can see these guys naturally want to eat the shells. Yep. And also eating the shell with the egg uh, will keep them from getting any diarrhea because it balances out the calcium to phosphorus ratio. Yeah, they all love those. That's what that smell is, he says. Well, you can tell uh, little K bar he ate a couple of them, he really loved them. You're a busybody, K-Bar. He likes to get into everything. He's always checking everything out. I don't know, there's just something about this pup we really like. <laughs> She's going to my daughter, Miranda. The battle royal going on here. Wait a minute, I want round two. That's the little Kurgan clone with the white spot on his head and the silver legs. Yeah, so cute. That's a little uh, K bar with the chuck fish there. 
couple over here fighting for a piece. He had his lip and the fish. <laughs> he had the he had his lip and the fish. Yeah, I got it off. Yeah, this little K bar. Got Puko right here. His ears will probably be standing in a few days. Yeah, Kurgan's tail was like that too as a puppy. If you look at uh, the old puppy yeah. videos, yeah. And then it, yeah, and then it's, and then they straightened out as he got older. Which, if you would have told me back then that it was going to do that, I would have said no way. But it did. Yeah. It's funny if you look at Kurgan's old. Uh, Leash training videos and early hiking videos, it's just like that. Yeah. yeah. I love watching him play tug. Like, yeah, I yeah, yeah, I got a big mouthful of oily fish skin, I won. <laughs> or did he? <laughs> yeah, that's my buddy, little K bar. Also, dogs that grow up as raw-fed dogs have a much stronger bite and jaw because you can see here how much chewing actually is involved in them having to eat. And this is the kind of uh, exercise that most canines should be getting. It's what they get in the wild. It's what their jaws are made for. And... Uh, when your dogs have this outlet for that, you, you don't have them destroying stuff as much around the house and stuff like that because, again, they're they're getting the needed outlet for their chewing. Another half a fish there, Kurgan. Got one left over for the puppies. Keep our eating another quail egg. Again, the egg with the shell is a complete nutritional package. It's a mistake to serve eggs without the shell. Giving too much egg without the shell will give them diarrhea. got to be one of the cutest puppies in the world. I don't know, just something about him. Here we've got a puppy doing a Kurgan. He's got himself up on the racks, using it as a tool. You got the tweezers, Tim? This guy's got one, two pieces of fish here. 
Oh, yeah, he's actually buried one while he's eating the other one on top of it. If that isn't like what Kurgan does, I don't know what is. Right. Look at that, he had another fish stashed in there. That's yeah, that's hilarious. Called the K bar over to take care of that. Again, K Bar goes all over the place. He's, he's hilarious. He's checking everything out. Yeah, it tastes better when it's somebody else's food. Forget the fact that there's other pieces that nobody's chewing at. I love this pub. Well, it's gotten pretty long. I think we're going to wind this out here. Bye from myself, Mr. K Bar. Give you the puppy because everybody looks better with a puppy, I Tammy. Know, right? The beautiful Tammy. She makes it. <laughs> right. Of course, Mr. Kurgan is polishing off that half a fish. It looks like he already ate it. He makes pretty light work of that. And the crew. Again, I'm going to be taking what's left of these uh, large pieces of fish and uh, mincing them up for him. Yes. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get uh, email uh, notifications to uh, both our videos. That's all. The Fish Bandit. Another thing. If you'd like to learn more about the rod diet, I've left a ton of links from vets and uh, other authorities on the topic for you to research. Again, but don't just take my word for this stuff. I'm just some guy on YouTube. I was an animal warden for almost uh, two decades. I have owned and bred dogs and trained them for over three decades. <laughs> again, when they're biting for the fish, sometimes they catch each other. So again, I've uh, bred trained dogs for over three decades. So. You might want to take that account when I pass on some information, but uh, again, I'm just someone on the internet. You should always research. Bye from all of us. See ya. Bye.